This is Carter Colby from the Mercury, and here's a recap of last week's top stories. A tanker truck that left the road and rolled on Sunday caused local emergency crews some grief when it was found to be leaking its hazardous contents. Luckily, the event was managed with no risk to the public. The incident occurred late Sunday afternoon near Rosh Pershing on Highway 39 east of the Suez River. The tanker was transporting volatile hydrocarbon that SN Fire Chief Shane Code likened to gasoline. The driver of the truck was charged with driving without due care and attention. Talks between the Southeast Cornerstone Public School Division and the Service Employees International Union West that involved the appointed consulator hit a stalemate in mid-March. As a result, this stalled negotiations of public rallies being planned by SEIU, which will be staged in Weyburn, the home of the school district's head office. On Monday, April 20th, the Service Employees International Union gave the Southeast Cornerstone Public School Division a 48-hour notice of strike action. Reliance on coal-based power via boundary dams, carbon capture, and sequestration facilities costing electricity users $1 billion and preventing the province from adopting a diversified energy sector, says President and Founder of Saskatchewan Community Win, James Glennie. Glennie said the lack of discussion with other parties regarding energy-related projects like the retrofit at carbon capture unit at Boundary Dam is part of the problem. Glennie said Saskatchewan submitted an unsolicited power proposal plan for SAS Power in October 2013. The proposal was rejected in January 2014. It was the last time the parties communicated, he said. Mike Monia, President of Carbon Capture and Storage Initiatives at SASPAR, said SASPAR has ongoing discussions with various suppliers and associations. He also responded to Glennie's remarks about the lack of communication between Sasquatch and SASPAR. You can read it in this week's issue of The Mercury. An SVAM man received a 21-month jail sentence after SVAM Police Service found approximately 30 grams of cocaine in his home on April 8th. He also received a three-month jail sentence for breaching an existing 12-month probation order, which he received on March 31st in relation to various assault charges. The time will be served concurrently with his 21 months. Cyrus Acryl, 20 years old, appeared in Eswan Provincial Court for sentencing on April 13th, where presiding judge Lane Wiegers accepted the joint submission. 33rd Annual Eswan Stripper Spring Bus Hockey Tournament concluded on April 12th as 36 teams competed over five days. Teams started the tournament on April 8th and completed in three S-Fan rinks, Affinity Place, Icon Center, and the Civic Auditorium. Eight divisions made up the tournament. The Century 21st Women's, Bill Dutton, and Ray Freilich, 45-plus, made up three of the divisions. And the Westmoreland Cole, Days in Einer Rod Fagerin Memorial, Tapos, and Preston Meyer Memorial made up the final five divisions in the 30-plus category. A silent auction during the tournament raised $6,220. The strippers will also be donating $5,000 towards the Saskatchewan Summer Games that will be held in SVAN. Next year's tournament will be held April 6th to 10th. Those were our top stories of last week. Visit www.svanmercury.ca to remain up to date with news in the energy city.